Welcome back to another episode of Baxter's Buzz. I am your host, Baxter E. Hall. Welcome to my brain. Welcome to my frequency. Enter at your own risk. Today, I want to uh, share with you a section of a book uh, that I've mentioned before, and I probably will continue. It's called Crucial Conversations, Tools for Talking When the Stakes Are High. Um, There's a a piece of it that I want to share today where uh, it talks about people telling their own story or telling themselves a story, right? So we're upset. And instead of sort of facing uh, the the thing, the the problem, the issue head on, we start to tell ourselves a story, and uh, we haven't shared it with anyone. But because we're emotional, we figure it out and justify our actions because of the story that we've told ourselves. This piece here talks about uh, specifically about sort of ways to sort of combat that and sort of master these stories. So first of all, um, it talks about just retracing your path, right? If you find yourself moving away from a dialogue, ask yourself what you're really doing. Um, Am I in some form of silence or violence, right? So silence being just not wanting to engage, not wanting to talk, um, upset, not knowing how to properly articulate that or violence where we are the aggressor, um, accusing people of things, uh, making judgments based on emotions and not sort of what the facts are. I'm sure none of you guys can relate to that. Um, The last piece that I want to talk about uh, today is sort of what emotions are encouraging me to act this way? So analyze your story and uh, see if there are any potential uh, other explanations for uh, the story that you've told, right? Is this the only way that this could be or are there alternatives that I should consider that I just haven't already? It's super tough when you're in the middle of something and um, a, a conversation sort of becomes crucial really quickly, right? It could go from a a general conversation to bam, now it's a crucial conversation. The book basically tells us that we are not uh, normally prepared for those. And so it gives us sort of steps to handle ourselves so we can properly communicate and get the outcomes that we want. Because when you're acting out of emotion, um, it doesn't hurt just uh, the person on the other side. It It hurts you in the entire situation that you're trying to solve. So uh, notice your behavior. Um, Ask yourself, you know, what you're really doing in the moment and also just sort of retrace your steps um, and analyze if there's another way that this story could uh, end or if if there's another perspective to this particular story. And most of the time there is. And most of the time, once we step back, we can kind of try to separate our facts Um, or our emotions, which we are calling facts from actually the facts in the story. And once you start opening up that dialogue, things tend to improve. So, um, yeah, I want to share that with you guys. I hope that it was beneficial. Um, Until next time, I just want you all to know that you are capable and to embrace your own frequency. Thanks again. Uh, for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And until next time, peace.